You're doing well for yourself, I see. Star locker room vibes. <laughs> the legend graces us with her presence. I like my decor to reflect my personality, which is abrupt and impatient. What do you want, Justine? I want to talk about Psycho Sally. What about her? She eating solid food yet? So hard, aren't you? She is. She's eating solid food and she's back in the ring. Good. Good. So long as she stays out of my way. I'm sure she will. I can't imagine she wants to lay her eyes on you again. You hurt that girl. Not just physically. I wasn't... I had to show Rhea. It's a brutal world and Sally had to learn that the hard way. The hard way, being the woman she trusted most in the world, beating her within an inch of her life on national television? Unless you're looking to learn a lesson in brutality yourself, get to the damn point. She's on NXT this week in her first televised match back. I thought you might appreciate the update. I can report back if you'd like to know how she's doing. Sally was in the wrong place at the wrong time. I regret nothing, but I don't wish her harm. Let me know if she's okay. Huh. There is a little of you left in there. Same person I've always been, Justine. Maybe. I'll let you know how Sally does. Our tornado of thrills, a whirlwind of wrestling, Psycho Sally. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making our way to the ring from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. Psycho Sally is really capturing the imagination of the WWE Universe, Corey. Kids love her. Kids love a lot of weird things. That's not exactly the barometer I go by. Here comes the heart of Chase U. And representing Chase University from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, the uh, One of the most impressive and maybe a bit overzealous students to come out of Chase University. But Thea Hale is dead set on proving that she is a grown woman who can get things done on her own. Thea Hale is a true ball of energy with endless potential. She's been living up to that potential and is ready for the next level. Well, time will tell if she's got the aggression to get there. Psycho like Sally still seems to be searching for herself out there. It takes a long time for the echo of betrayal to finally fade, Michael, both physically and mentally. She needs to find a way to silence that and get her head on straight. Or else, one of these days, her opponent's gonna knock it right up. But into the corner now. Yeah. Reversal! Can she capitalize? Just driven into the mat. Right on the patella. A huge target on the knee after that. Uh-oh. Counters! Cover! The rope stopped the pin. Uh-oh. What a hurricanrana. That maneuver goes to show you how much speed kills. Oh! Ooh, stop to the back. Double stop! Oh, 
counters. This could be an opportunity. She's staying elusive. Oh, what a kick to the face. Oh, my God. And Thea Hale gets contested there. Oh, the old taste of pain. Great officiating as the rep noticed she was on the ropes. Incredible pressure being put on Thea. Hale has to turn this around and quick. These two battling to a dead heat with these reversals. Ridiculous standing shooting star. Acrobatics like that take a trumpet. Setting up. Standing Spanish fly. Are you kidding me? Incredible. Two. Psycho Sally gets the win. Here is your winner. Psycho Sally. And this was a disappointing result for Thea Hale. The inexperience factor coming into play for Thea Hale. She might want to hit the books before her next match. Hey, Carly. How's it going? How's it going for you? Great win out there, but honestly, you didn't seem like yourself. Not very, you know, psycho. Honestly, psycho is looking a little aspirational these days. Right after I started training, I saw this match Cap had with La Suspira. This war. They climbed up and started fighting in the balcony. Cap catches her with a kick to the gut, looks out at the crowd, and she hits a freaking Canadian destroyer off the ledge like 15 feet down through a table. It was absolutely psycho. And it was all in the world I wanted to be. Aw, oh, that sounds insane and fun. And the kind of stuff you should be doing right now, Sally. Maybe. But I can't stop thinking about how the person who inspired me so hard took me out of action for weeks. You can't let what Cap did get in your head. <laughs> now she tells me. <laughs> Listen, we've both been kicked in the teeth by adventure recently. What do you say we turn it around and give a little back? What you have in mind? Psycho Sally. I just won a match by straight up cheating. Held my opponent's tights. One, two, three. And you know what? Tell me, tell me. It felt like taking back control from all the Caps and Rias of the world. Let's feel that way together. You want to like, be a tag team? Actually, I already jumped way out on a limb and got us booked in a match with JC Jane and Cora Jade. You booked me in a tag match without even asking me? You know what I call that? Ugh, a poor choice that crossed your personal boundaries? Freaking psycho! Let's go get crazy, Carly. Get ready for the untamed and unashamed Psycho Sally. The following contest is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, from Las Vegas, Nevada, Psycho Sally. Recruited by the legendary Justine at WWE tryouts, Psycho Sally has been lighting the world on fire in NXT. Lighting fires is a serious red flag, Saxton. Seriously, it's on all the lists of deviant behaviors to keep an eye out for. It's a must-watch fury with the up-and-coming Carly Prime. And her partner, Carly Prime! Carly Prime has really been making an impression as of late, Corey. The former D1 athlete came to WWE to dominate the competition. The impression she's making is coasting on her accolades from college. The only thing that matters here is what she can do in the ring. We're about to find out if Carly Prime's confidence is enough to carry her over the goal line.
Here comes a real menace in the women's division. J.C. Jane. And from Tampa, Florida, J.C. Jane. J.C. is willing to do what's necessary and ready to be savage if she has to. If she has to, she's usually in a hurry to hurt the competition. Already so accomplished, I can't wait to see what JC does next. Well, you won't have to wait much longer, Cole. The generation of Jade has begun. And I don't think it'll ever end. And from Chicago, Illinois, Cora Jane. As far as Cora is concerned, no one measures up to her. She's on another level. And you know what? I think she might be right. She has a thorny and jealous attitude. That's for certain. And she's always ready to pick a big fight. Cora Jade is hoping to make a statement here tonight. And that statement is, you can't handle the generation of Jade. They are brought together by a common enemy. Now we find out if that chair betrayal is enough to propel them to success in the ring. Both Carly and Psycho have looked a bit vulnerable as of late, so it's not surprising they're looking to pair up and get the targets off their backs. Unless they end up just putting two targets right next to each other. Ouch. Oh, the old taste of pain. Oh, no. And a reverse DDT. Placed in the corner. Ooh, forearm. What are we going to see next? Slingshot guillotine to leg drop. You have solidified your name as a top athlete when you're able to pull off that move. Yeah. Hooked up. DDT. Uh, right to the midsection. Step over. DDT. No telling what's underneath the ring tonight. I guarantee that chair is not going to be used as it was designed for. Ooh! -hoo. Battling ringside now announced it. Right in front of the referee. That'll be a blatant disqualification. Wow. That was pretty psycho out there, Carly. I know. That felt freaking incredible. Did you hear the sound the chair made when it made contact? Wham! Do you think it was really necessary to hit anyone with a chair? Was it necessary for Cap and Rhea to do what they did to us? Easy, easy. I'm on your side. We were amazing together. We should, we should, we should get a tag title opportunity. Oh, I mean, that would be nice, but we've only had one match. That's why. That's why we need to attack Isla and Alba. Wait, what? Yeah, we attack the tag team champions. They're bound to give us a title shot. That always works. Sure, we could also ask. We should make a statement just like Cap and Rhea did. We can show the whole NXT locker room, the whole WWE, that we are not going to be pushed around ever again. I mean... Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's go absolutely psycho on them. Maybe no chairs, though. 
I make no promises. Another successful tag team title defense for Isla Dawn and Alba Fire. Hold on, that's Carly Prime and Psycho Sally. And they're attacking the champions from behind. What's this all about? Carly and Sally are the new team on the block. Maybe they want to establish themselves by going after the champs. It's worked before. When we see the dark duel of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, we're looking at a team who's hungry and on the hunt for victims. When you call yourselves the Unholy Union, you're not exactly mentoring rookies. This team's not just dangerous. These women possess a power that has the capability to level the entire women's division. Fire and Dawn threaten to unleash scorched earth. And if they have their way, it can very well happen tonight. Springboard into a hurricane Rana. Just exhibiting their fearlessness. Exhibiting guts and accuracy as well. Power slam. She's in pretty bad shape now. I don't think she even knows where she is at this point. Now the fire absolutely ready to take her on here. Oh, nasty flipping center. Oh, what a hurricane. And make it twice. Ouch. And she denies Prime. Look at this. Boom. Nice. Alba expected that one. Ah, oh, drop kick. Right on the money. Coming back into the ring. Back to the action. Ben Scissors takedown. Expertly applied. Ooh. Oh, foot right to the belly. She slips outside. What has she got in mind? Oh, oh. Kendo stick wrapped around that head. Caught with a clothesline. She avoids the attack completely. Not so fast. And that will do it. Not getting up from that one, so it's called. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. Guess you heard? Damn right I did. What did I tell you? We beat Isla and Alba down an instant title match. Yep. Worked out just like you said. And it felt so good. Cap and Rhea, they're really onto something. Brutality. Brutality is the way to success. It's like a shortcut. It is. It's a shortcut, Carly. An electric shortcut. I feel so powerful. No, no you don't. You feel like a bully. And that's not power. That's Cap and Rhea's kind of power. Uh, yeah? After what they did to us. Isn't that what you want? Maybe at first I did. At least a little bit. Now that I've tried it, I realize it doesn't fit. It doesn't fit me, and it doesn't fit you. But we got a title opportunity. And we are going to go out there and do crazy moves Alba and Isla have never seen in their lives and beat them in the middle of the ring. We will fight every bit of their fire with fire. We will go psycho. Hell yeah. But what we won't do is anything like Cap and Rhea. Because they're not psycho. They're a pair of lunchroom bullies. That's not brutality. That's weakness lashing out. And we are not weak. No, we're freaking not. So let's go win the tag team titles and prove it. Get ready for the untamed and unashamed Psycho Sally. Recruited by the legendary Justine at WWE tryouts, Psycho Sally has been lighting the world on fire in NXT. Lighting fires is a serious red flag, Saxton. Seriously, it's on all the lists of deviant behaviors to keep an eye out for. No need to check your watches. It is prime time.
Some of the best athletes from the toughest sports in the world try their luck in WWE and run right back home with their tail between their legs. Will you stop it, Corey? Carly is not the type to run from any kind of fight. Here we go, gentlemen. Huge title match coming up. And a huge opportunity for the champ to prove to everyone that there truly is none better in all of WWE right now. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. And it's for the WWE Women's Tag Team Championship. Introducing the challengers, the team of Psycho Sally and Carly Prime. And their opponents, the team of Isla Dawn and Elba. The WWE Women's Tag Titles have quickly risen to prominence. You would expect this to be a colossal challenge for the reigning champions as they go head to head against a pair that is becoming the most brutal force in the business. But these two tag champions are here for a reason. I doubt they're going to get rattled by Carly Prime and Psycho Sally's antics. It's more than just antics, Corey. These two challengers have shown they're fully capable of making just as much noise fairly as they do outside the rules. Fire could be moments away from being extinguished. Uh-oh. Up and... Uh oh, new champion! Yes, they did it! New tag team champs! Here are your winners. The team of Psycho Sally and Carly Prime! And the winners celebrating together. Great chemistry tonight. Chemistry on point. Teamwork looking sharp. For my money, this is the best women's tag team around. Hey, partner. How you feeling? Uh, like I just learned how to fly? Tag Team Champions? How's that for Psycho? Absolute madness. Ooh, that's not a bad team name. I was thinking Psycho Prime. Prime Psycho? Hmm, possible. We'll workshop it. Ah, <sighs> gold suits you, Sally. When we started down this road, you looked like you were about ready to call it a day. Now, you're on fire! Maybe I was. Cap messed me up, but she also taught me something. Brutality! No. Resilience. I'm more unbreakable than I thought. Hmm. We got the titles. We can go where we want. You're thinking Cap and Rhea. Mm-hmm. Me too. Thing is, I have this feeling those two are not in a long-term partnership. I'm just gonna sit back and enjoy watching them tear each other apart. 
for now? For now. <laughs>